It explains why North Korea is considered such a wild card. On the same day, it basically says to the United States, stop these drills with South Korea. It airs a propaganda video on a state-controlled website, which is part of the official North Korean news agency, showing U.S. senior officials dying in a sea of fire with this quote, all North Korea needs to do is place its hand on a button and press it when the right time comes. The U.S. will live in fear and anxiety the whole time. So this is a country that wants to be accepted as a nuclear power when the number one rule is you don't make idle threats, which explains why the U.S. is basically this debate that's going on in the administration and around the world. Is it too late to stop North Korea from developing a nuclear strike capability? And if not, how do you contain the threat? The U.S. is pursuing this dual track. Stop your nuclear program and we'll talk diplomacy while also preparing for conflict. We have had the responsibility of providing military options to our national leaders. And exercises are our way of making sure that the option is a ready option. It's a capable option. And that's what really underpins deterrence. So the war games last until the 31st and include some civil defense drills. Otherwise, most of the exercise is a computer simulation of different war scenarios, including a missile defense system designed to knock out as many North Korean nukes as possible. All I can say is I'm very confident with our missile defense capabilities. Uh, our missile defense capabilities that are deployed both uh, in Alaska and in California have the ability to intercept any threat against the United States. I'm also very confident about the capabilities that we've deployed here in the theater. So, John, in the beginning of this thing, you mentioned about those sanctions against certain Chinese and Russian companies. That's because most recognize the missile program out of North Korea today did not get where it is without some help, hence the sanctions that you're talking about. Back to you. William Lajeunesse on Guam. William, thank you.